for, so some of the singing, and it's going to be right singing. Some of the stuff before we walk out and stuff is going to, uh, hopefully that's not too loud. Grounding through your heels, should be able to wiggle your toes. Big inhales up, reach, and exhale, float the arms down. Do that two more times. Big inhale, reach, and float the arms down. This time we're going to hold the arms up. Little baby, little baby back bend. Let's open the chest, reach tall, opening the front of your body. And when you exhale, you more more oh. Knees under your hips. We're going to nice and easy scoop 
chest through one more time, and then inhale, shift your weight into your palm, into your forearms. Tap back on one leg, and the other leg, landing up in the elbow plank. I feel like the music got loud again, sorry, y'all. <laughs> nice and easy, raise your core, drop the belly button in, lengthen your spine, stretch the crown of your head away from your hips, raise your core. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, abs tight. Nice and easy. We lower one knee and then the other knee. Switch. One knee, other knee. Switch and switch. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. We switch and we switch. Keep going. If you like, speed this up. Or you can do both knees. A little bit more challenging. But keep your hips the same. Don't move those hips. Squeeze your abs. Inhale, exhale, roll up. 
the legs down. Nice and easy, grab behind those thighs, round out that back, and then inhale, press it through. Okay, nice and easy. We're gonna lean back about 20 degrees. Those arms are out at an angle, parallel with the thighs. We're gonna open up one side, rotate back, reach, and then the other side. Squeeze your abs in, rotate back. Keep going, you guys, open and close. This is very similar to the move that we do in side-lying tabletop on the mat. And we just open up one arm and we close it. It's the same thing, we're just picking up, right? Did you notice that? Let's get ready to do one side only. Just one side, seven times. Open and close. And really open back and look over that shoulder. Keep going. Last three. Squeeze those abs. Last two. And one. Other side. Open and close. Last three. Keep those arms parallel with the thighs. Two more. 
Big old reach, big inhale. Hug those knees in and then slowly come back to your mat. Brace your core. Sorry, you guys. I mean, it stopped. My phone never rings, but it happened to me my birthday, so someone's probably calling. All right, on this move right here, nice and easy, we're gonna lower those legs down to the mat. Hands behind the head. We're gonna lower those knees down to one side, keeping the chest up towards the ceiling. Brace the core. We're gonna squeeze up through your abdominals here. Close that space, move the hip. Inhaling and exhaling, squeezing. Closing and opening. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Elbows are wide, chest towards the sky. And here we're gonna pulse up, you ready? Pulsing. Keep going, get ready, counts down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly release. We take the body down, shift that upper body onto your side, reposition those knees into tabletop. Bottom arm supports the torso. Inhale, that top arm comes up, brace your core. And then please close this space up here. So just squeezing, closing, opening. Closing the obliques, squeeze and open. Have a little bit of a fire hydrant and sideline in your right? Squeeze and open. Keep breathing in through your nose. So some of them will chop away just so we can fit everything in. We get everything on both sides except for this stuff. Anyways, keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Last two. And one. Nice and easy. Easy and relax. That top leg is going to come up. As in, we're going to reach that top arm and close that space. Here we go again. Closing that space, grip the hip, bracing your core. Squeeze. If you don't like this leg long, you can bend the knee. Close that space, grip the hip. All right, you guys, again, here we go. Get ready, get set. And pulse. Squeeze. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you guys, nice and easy. Lower those legs down. Brace your core. That top arm supports your body from moving forward. We're going to squeeze up into that side plank. Inhale, that top arm up. Bracing through your core. We didn't do this side yet. We just lower and lift this bottom hip. Take it down and up. Squeeze. Squeeze those obliques. As in. Keep going. Pressing open your chest. Long across the collarbone. Keep moving. All right, you guys. Nice and easy. Up and hold. Let's bring that forearm down. Landing in that plank. Plank position. Long. Your neck is really uncomfortable, you can bring a prop and just stuff your head to your neck. 
neck is in line with your spine. Try to make sure everything is aligned. Shoulders, hips, knees, even your palms. And bring those knees in front of your hips so that you actually just look like, look, you actually look like a chair. So that's where the word chair comes from. You actually look like a chair. Inhale, open. You guys, if you want to, you can do the same flow a couple times. Well, go ahead and just hold it back there. We are warm. We did that motion earlier for our core exercise. We're just stretching open through your chest, through your shoulder, and through your side body. Inhale. Exhale, release, relax into that stretch. And then gently bring that arm back in and reach it up overhead. Big inhale. Float that leg down, stagger it. And just press open to that hip. Good, nice and easy. Inhale that top arm up. We're gonna bring it back down to line with that palm and gently push away from the mat. I'll be just seated. And you can see that your legs are set up for deer pose already. That's why we came here. So big inhale, open up the side, reach over. All right, you guys, and then melt your body over. So you can melt this deer pose a little bit. Thank you. 
straddling. Just let, right? Maybe this side is easier than the other side. Inhale. Exhale, float your body over. Hamstring stretch here and your thigh stretch on the other side. Reposition as you need to. I think this hamstring may be a little bit, this inner thigh is more flexible, so it's easier to get into this hamstring. Tricky, tricky, you know? That's why we try to mix up the poses and do some that are slightly different here or there. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, come over. Before you have to haunch, stop where you have to haunch and just like lengthen your torso. So if you already feel like this here, then inhale, lengthen your spine and lean into it. Lean long, not there. Lean, lengthen. It's going to help flex this foot. And then nice and easy. We go again. Big inhale up. And let's bring those knees over to one side. Tabletop over here, sideline. Come on down, stack your shoulders, stack your hips, stack your knees. Should it be the same side? Last time when my head was over there. Stack your shoulders, make sure if there was a pin going through your shoulders, it would go straight through to the other side. If you need a prop to support your head, keep your neck in line with your spine, perfectly welcome. Nice and easy, inhale this top arm up, float it open, stay here. If you like to prefer you do this, to do this every time you can, in and out, until you find a spot and just hang out. I know a lot of people are carrying tension in their shoulders or through their heart center um, and collarbone and all that. So try to just open and relax. Breathe in through your nose. Fill up your lungs. Fill up any tightness and exhale. Release it out of the body. Taking it 
it down and around. And maybe if you really pushed yourself in the legs class this week, I see my foot, that's why I'm just kind of joking. Um, maybe you really have to hold on one side, okay? All right, easy, come back to the center, you guys. And we're going to tuck one leg in, we're gonna do your pigeon, and the other leg goes back. Pigeon pose. If you're not ready for pigeon or this hurts, then um, you can go back to your deer pose if you want, okay? Inhale and exhale. And let's try to line up that shin with the edge of your mat. And try to press your the front of your foot and bring that heel on the back foot up towards the ceiling. Maybe like a little cramp in my foot. That's why I'm talking about this. I'll probably need a lot more water. Inhale, exhale, if you like, fold your body over. If you don't like this, then you don't have to do this. Okay? Hold the other ankle over. Hug in with that 
window. Stretch it out. Thanks, just keep coming. 